So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start up a Visual Studio project. And after I finish the Visual Studio project, I'm going to place it into a repository, a subversion repository, located on ComSci. And uh, so we're going to start off with the creating the Visual Studio project. I'm going to go to Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call this My Project. My Proj. Not Project. It is a Win32 console application. I'm going to hit OK. Hit Next. I'm going to make sure it's an empty project. Finish. And now I'm going to hit the right context button. I'm going to hit Add New Item. And every project requires a source file, so I'm going to call it main. And in main, I'm going to write uh, a new program close this project okay and we're going to use subversion now I'm going to exit out of Visual Studio I don't need this anymore okay so we've created a Visual Studio project already and it's called my project and uh, if I look I can actually see my project so let me take a look at it Okay, there it is, my project. That's the folder, that's the product I just created. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to import this into Subversion. Now first, I'm going to type in SVN. I'm going to list out all the files in my directory, in my repository, my folder in the repository that I have access to. And this is going to be at comsci.liu.edu, list SVN. And for this class, it's CS102.10. And normally that's my folder. I have no files in there. That's great. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to import this project. So I'm going to do this with the import command. Import my. Make sure you get this spelling correct. CLS clear the screen. SVN import my hit the tab key. Now I'm going to type in uh, my repository location, which is at comsci.liu.edu cs svn slash cs 102 spring 10. And now if I press if I do this right now, what the system is going to do is try and place all files in my project into Morali. What I really want is to create my project in another folder. Um, the new folder could be the same name, my project, but I'm actually going to name it as first. Okay. Now, whenever you update the repository, you must give a command message or explaining a log entry, explaining what you're doing. In this case, I, I'm just going to say Demoing a first oops, project. Okay, enter, and voila. Adding. Good. We have now just imported your project into Subversion. Now, if you want to list it, you can actually see the files by using SVN list. I'm sorry, whoops, sorry, http comsci.edu slash svncs102.10. And I've logged in, and I have full access to all the directories in the repository, and so I can see all of the folders. 
Do you notice that one of my one of the folders is my folder, but there's also a public folder and all of your accounts. So knowing this, I can now uh, list out all the files in the Morali subdirectory. And there it is. There's my first project. And inside, first, you can see that all of the files, including the debug C red subdirectory, is located there. OK. OK. Um, we have imported a Visual Studio project into subversion. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out the get a working copy of the project into my current folder where I can load up Visual Studio and work with it. So I'm going to do, use this by using the checkout command. And I'm going to specify the, if I don't remember what files I have, I should always do the list command. Comsci.la, d.edu, svn, cs, 2 spring slash Notice there is a first, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out the first SVN list HTTP. S10 slash Make sure um, the file names are case sensitive, so make sure that you're putting in the file names exactly as it is. So we have this is the list. Now I'm going to do a checkout. I'm now checking out all the files. Okay. And at this point, once you've checked out a folder, this directory is actually linked automatically to the subversion repository. So you don't have to keep specifying the repository name at this point. Now, it's done through special hidden files, and you can see them by typing dir slash ah for hidden files. You'll notice there's a dot svn. You'll find that there's a dot svn directory in all of the uh, checked out repositories, uh, sorry, checked out repository files. So now one of the most useful command when you're using subvision is svn stat. Also, if you notice that there's a debug subdirectory in your project, really um, these are temporary files that are created when we compile our source well, our project. They're not really required. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from my project by using svn delete debug. And if I now type in svn stat, you'll notice that it has marked D for delete. So these files will be deleted when I commit this project to the repository. And uh, let me do that right now. Let me commit, commit this project. I'm just going to say commit. And I don't have to specify the uh, repository information because I'm in the directory and the system all recognizes that it's associated with the repository in CompSci. So once I commit, I always have to send a message explaining what I'm doing. So I'm just going to say removing unneeded uh, debug. Okay, and commit. That's it. SVN stat. Nothing new. Um, we'll also, we don't really need the NCB file, nor we don't we need, really need the armrally.user. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say delete my project.ncb the NCB file. SVN delete my project. Okay, and I'm going to commit again. Deleting Good. Okay, no, no changes yet, so everything's been committed. Oh, great. So, Okay, we're going to now 
try to edit the file, instead of going to Visual Studio, I'm actually going to use Notepad and edit the file manually. And notice that I do have the program. And let's say I'm going to change this Hello World string to Hello, this is a test. Okay. And I'm going to save, exit, and I save it, override it. Now, which file did I edit? Well, I happen to know it was main.cpp, but we can also check by using SVN stat, and M actually means it's been modified. So our working copy of our files, main.cpp, has been modified. So if I want to keep these changes, I can push it to the repository by just using SVN update, sorry, SVN commit, Great. So if I now type in SVN stats, everything is up to par. There's no discrepancy. Now, let's say that I'd like to know the log of all, everything that's happened so far. If you type in SVN log, here you'd see that's we're up to here. First project. SVN update. SVN log. And here's the log. I typed in SVN update to get the latest log information copied local. So once I hit update, it gets the repository information. Now, also any change in the repository by other people would be updated with SVN update. So let's pretend that I would like to go to, do you notice that revision 19, I changed main.cpp. Now, I'd like to know what main.cpp was before I changed main.cpp. So that would be revision 18. And to do this, I'm just going to say SVN update and flag R and specify 18. And now if you look with Notepad, you'll notice that nothing changed. Okay. I'm going to go back. If I want to update to the latest version, I'm back up to revision 19. And now I'm going to hit Notepad. And you notice this is the test has changed. So Subversion gives me this great way of switching between all of the different revisions that I've made. So historically I can go to one or fifty files that have changed and progress gradually right between the revisions to see what happened if something failed in the project. Okay, after you finish with everything, uh, let's type SVN stat, notice, and SVN update to see if anything changed. We're still at revision 19. Okay, I'm going to cd to the parent directory. Now the first is actually a project that is located on ComSci in the repository, subversion repository. So on this local machine, I don't need it any further. So I'm going to actually use rd, which is remove directory first, and I'm going to use slash s to remove all of the directory. So that's it. I've now removed my local copy, and I can walk to another machine if I need to and check out the file again, or check out the uh, folder again and keep working.